Hello everybody, the Law and Gnome is here. Jesus, man, could you change the channel? So I wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to review some new music for you guys, because it has been a while, and considering the fact that my channel is going to be going through a major change in just a couple of weeks, I wasn't sure if music was going to be coming back for at least one more time. Well, the music god smiled upon me because if you are new to my channel, let me just say welcome, it's a pleasure to have you, and for all of you returning who know about me and reviewing music, I like to review albums in pairs, and I got a great pairing for you, just in the nick of time. The first of these pairings is actually a album that came out in the summer months, and it was one that actually caught me by surprise. It is the official sequel to one of the better live albums in the world of hard rock and heavy metal, and it is S&M 2. That is Metallica and the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra Volume 2. This is the follow-up to their 1999 first performance with the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra. So I was very glad to see that this project was being done by Metallica again. And there are very few live albums that I personally collect. Their first live album with this orchestra is a great balance of classic symphony as well as metal. And to see the blend between those two music genres is great because not that many people really know that heavy metal has a great bit of influence from the classical sound that goes centuries into the past. So the fact that these guys came back to do another project is wonderful. And yes, you are going to get some songs that you already heard in the first album, and I actually do have my copy right here with me. It's also definitely different in terms of the box quality, but that's a great listen, and this one's really great too. It is really cool to see the songs like Master of Puppets and Enter Sandman and One and Call of Cthulhu, seeing them being redone again in this format is great. But you've also got some of their newer hits, and probably the one that really impressed me is the series of classical music that they actually do play in the beginning of the second disc. And the even cooler part is the fact that there's even a little bit of a history lesson as to how so many bands, including Metallica, got influenced by the sounds of classical composership. So if you have the first album, that's great. I'm hoping that you love it. But if you didn't even know that the second album was coming out, I highly recommend that you check out S&M Volume 2. But the last album in this pairing that I want to talk about is one that I cannot wait to talk about because it was a long time coming and we were all wondering if this certain group from the 90s was ever going to truly go back to form. And it is the newest offering from Billy Corgan and the Smashing Pumpkins. This album is called Sir or Sir, it's spelled C-Y-R. I don't know how to pronounce it, or even if it's abbreviated for something. No one's told me yet, because this album caught me by surprise. I found out about this album at the very beginning of the fall, late summer even, and I was just really curious to see what was going to come from this band, because the big news was the fact that James Eha had joined the band again, so unfortunately, without Darcy, we still have three of the four original members of the Smashing Pumpkins on this new album, and since Zeitgeist, we had gotten a decent amount of music from Smashing Pumpkins, but we never really got those great albums that go to their early days, like Melancholy of the Infinite Sadness, Adore, Siamese Dream, what have you. This album does it. This is one of the very best Smashing Pumpkins albums that I have heard in a very long time. Now, the sound is not the original Smashing Pumpkins. As a matter of fact, they definitely have a little bit more of a progressive new wave sound, but they've been trying to develop that sound for a while in the last couple of albums, and I guess when you get three of the four original bandmates back together, you can finally find that magic that you're looking for. And this album has it all. This is a 20-track long album, but all the songs on this album are amazing. I love Dulcet and E. I love Witch. I love Starcraft, Haunted, Tiger Tiger. So many amazing songs in this album. This turned out to be one of my top five albums of the year. The question is going to be, will it be the best album of the year? I don't know, because the competition is very stiff. 
but to know that the Smashing Pumpkins return before 2020 was over, to finally give me a truly complete album that I've been waiting for from this band for so long, because it has been such a long time, just gives me high hopes as to what is coming next from them. Are they going to be doing more of these specific album projects that Billy Corgan just loves to do? Or will we just get great albums that sound like this? I don't know. Will Darcy even return to the band when she sees how great this album is? I don't know. But I feel that if we ever got all four of the Smashing Pumpkins back together for an album, I think we may get the perfect Smashing Pumpkins album that we've all been dying for. But this one, this one, guys, comes pretty damn close. It is almost near perfect. So that's it, everybody. Two albums to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my talk about them. Please leave your comments in the box below about either one of these albums or neither or both. And if you're a fan, I'd love to talk to you. And I just want to say thank you all for sitting down and listening to me talk about music for these last 10 years. It has been so much fun talking to you about bands and artists that I love, as well as new bands and artists that I have discovered over the years. And I'm really excited to see what the next couple of years are going to hold in the world of rock music. And we will still be talking about music on my channel, just not in this format. But either way, I just want to say thank you because a whole new era is beginning in 2021. And when there are certain segments on my channel that are officially being discontinued, I still want to give you guys my true appreciation and gratitude. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.